What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing part one of my Global Challenge 3 run. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth breakdown than usual, so feel free to jump into the battles if you want to. Timestamps are in the description, along with the Poke Face. So this was one team idea I had, but I left it up to a poll, so thank you to everyone who voted. I first built around uh, the screen's Moltres Sinistra core back in like Regulation D, just because I loved Sinistra so much, uh, and I figured triggering Berserk repeatedly was a great use of its hospitality ability. Uh, if you don't know, Moltres gains plus one special attack whenever it hits half HP, and Sinistra recovers a quarter of its partner's HP when it swaps in, so with Citrus Berry and Hospitality you can trigger that multiple times, which is so cool. This Moltres is the standard set, Nasty Plot, Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Protect, Citrus Berry, Terra Poison, pretty normal. I EV'd it to always live Terra Water Surging Strikes in the rain from Scarf Urshifu, uh, with, with the berry intact. Uh, so even if you get into that really bad position, honestly, uh, it'll still work out, maybe. At least all is not lost. It also has a little bit of speed just for speed creeping, and then the rest is in special attack. Gudra is here because, one, I love it. Uh, two, it's great with Sinistra. Three, it's good into some matchups that Moltres doesn't do well into, like Ting Lu and King Gambit are really weak to body press. And for four, Moltres actually covers some of Gudra's bad matchups, like Terra Ghost or especially Golden Go, whereas the one ghost Moltres doesn't do well into, Fluttermane, which honestly isn't that bad if you Terra, Gudra can eliminate in one heavy slam. Uh, most endgames revolve around setting up this Gudra to plus 6 defense and then just sitting in front of any physical attackers because shell armor blocks crits. The bane of any screen team or body press bot is crits or Urshifu specifically. So blocking these makes Gudra, in my opinion, the best body press bot that exists. The one exception is Fire Ogre Pond before Terra has Bold Breaker. So that actually can crit, especially with that Ivy Cudgel high crit rate move. So watch out for that. Uh, the Gudra, it has a simple spread, it's just 252 HP, 252 defense, 4 special defense. I went with Careful uh, for more total stats, that boosts the special defense stat. Uh, but you could always switch it to Impish, you'd have slightly more physical defense, but slightly less stats overall. Uh, I, I just feel it has enough physical defense. Uh, Heavy Slam, like I said, is great for picking off Fluttermane, the main ghost that you can't body press. Uh, and I actually run Shelter on this without any PP ups, and that's on purpose. What it does is it allows you to break out of Encore earlier. When you use your last PP of Shelter, Encore would end, and then you can't be locked back into it. Uh, it's super niche, uh, but I've never actually needed more than 10 Shelters anyway. And if you want more PP, you should just be running Acid Armor, which has 20 base. Uh, Grim down here is the most reliable screens user. Uh, it's immune to Prankster Taunt, which is the most important thing. Uh, I've messed with some other options like Ninetales, but I found it less reliable because it can get Prankster taunted, it can get knocked out, they can set up weather to stop it. Uh, and another option is actually Sableye, which would be immune to Prankster taunt and would be immune to Fake Out. So that might even be more reliable than Grimmsnarl, uh, but I found it to be a little bit too passive. So I, I like Grimmsnarl, it can actually hit. And it can get out of there with Parting Shot. I actually really like Parting Shot because it can give you a quick attack and special attack drop onto an opponent and then combo in by swapping you out into Sinistra and giving your partner hospitality. When the opponent suddenly is only doing two-thirds as much damage and your Moltres or your Gudra has 25% more HP, that can pretty easily mess up their calcs when they think they might knock you out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Sinistra is just here. It's a defensive set. Uh, it, it Basically, its job is to swap in and out for hospitality healing. There will be games where it does its job and never actually clicks an attack. Uh, but when it does, it has Rage Powder plus Rocky Helmet, which is a good combo that, uh, that messes up some physical attackers, especially Water Urshifu. Uh, that's more important when it's paired with Voltress than it is with Gudra, because Gudra can handle Water Urshifu pretty well. Uh, and then it has Trick Room. It's the only speed control on this team, but speed control isn't super important most of the time, since these guys can really take some hits. Uh, but sometimes you can get it up or reverse an opposing Trick Room, and it can do pretty well there. Uh, Life Dew, I like on this team specifically. Uh, I was also considering Strength Sap, which is also a really good move. But I liked that I was able to heal while Sinistra was still on the field. So I went with Life Dew this time. It, it could be either or. Milotic is one of my newer additions. Uh, it's here for three reasons. It hazes away Dozos, because they would actually be a big problem with Unaware. I can't really do much damage uh, if I don't have my setups going. Uh, two, 
it can life do, which is a really strong move. Like, it's not as strong on Sinistra, because Sinistra's pretty easy to knock out with all of its weaknesses. Milotic is hard to knock out, and if it's just spamming life do next to a setup Moltres or setup Gudra, your opponent could have a tough time. And then finally, it Ice Beams Landorus Incarnate. I EV this, it's like modest with like 20 special attack, so that Ice Beam can take out all but the bulkiest Landoruses. Because Landorus can cause a problem. Gudra does not appreciate Earth Power. Its Terra is Fairy, so it doesn't appreciate Sludge Bomb. And Moltres, if it Terras into Poison, becomes weak to Earth Power as well. So it just, it's a mess. I needed something that could take it out, and Milotic has proven to actually be pretty good at that. Also, Milotic still gets Scald, despite a lot of other water types not being in that position. So that's really cool for it. I like that. And in competitive, it's just the right ability to use. It's not really a sweeper, but there are cases where the Milotic endgame can be the win condition. Uh, the final addition on here is Incineroar. Fake Out helps set up, Intimidate helps set up, Parting Shot helps set up. And then I have Taunt and Goggles just to shut down Amoongus. Amoongus can cause a lot of trouble for this team. Moltres has no immunity, Gudra has no immunity. So having something there that can do that is great. This Incineroar, the spread's not that interesting, except that I'm speed creeping a little bit, so it should be faster than most Incineroars. I can get the Fake Out first. I can taunt them if they're going to go for a Parting Shot. Uh, some people would play slower Incineroars to try to Parting Shot second, but I didn't feel like that was as important, because if I can get a free setup turn, that can really snowball the game. Uh, anyway, that's the team. Give it a try yourself if you like it. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's get on with these battles. All right, 1577, starting out hot. All right, uh, Ursaluna for Regraph, common. Urshifu, Chen Pao, Arcanine, and Whimsicott. Okay, um, is it possible that's a Tailwind Bear? Is it possible I don't care? Uh, definitely a screens game. But who with? Uh, Gudra seems really good. I would need to Terra though, which would make me a little worse against the Blood Moon. But then it could always Earth Power otherwise. Is it a Moltres game? Arcanine Chen Pao is pretty scary as is Urshifu. Uh, but I think I will just go Moltres. I do think Gudra is still good though, so I'll bring that. And then finally, because I'd be a little worried about like Whimsicott lead against Gudra messing me up with some sort of Encore or Taunt shenanigans. But Moltres is immune to that. But if they lead it with like Chen Power Arcanine, then I'd be scared, but there's only so much you can do. And then I think I need Sinistra. That feels like a Water Urshifu. And really, I kind of should have Sinistra. So that's what I'm going to go with. Incineroar doesn't feel that strong. Can't fake out if Farigarap's there. Milotic seems okay. Honestly, Milotic could work here, but then I would be dropping Sinistra. Doesn't feel great. And they have a good trainer card. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, it is Urshifu, and Whimsicott, and it's Dark Urshifu, though. Oh, that's actually really good. I like to see Dark Urshifu, because my Reflect will actually matter. I will set up Reflect, and I will... I guess I should Nasty Plot. I'm a little scared. <laughs> this is a scary lead. Because they could have like Moonblast plus close combat right into Moltres. And they're going for a Terra right away. Uh, but just having the Spirit Break threat on Urshifu is pretty good. Oh, Terra Poison. Okay. I kind of like that. Especially because I went for the Nasty Plot. My Reflect goes first, so they are going for a Moonblast. Oh, why did that do so much? Good lord, that did a lot of damage. What the heck? Are they doubling up with like a poison jab or something? It's a wicked blow, okay. Of 
example, not exactly the position I wanted to be in. I guess my play is parting shot, go into Sinistra, heal up on Moltres. Hope I live that combo when the Whimsicott is at minus one. Yeah, that's really my only play. Oh, and they swap Whimsicott. That could be good or bad. If they block the parting shot, I don't get the swap. They did. Uh-oh. Okay. Not off to a great start here. Moltres is down. But, we have Gudra. Gudra can handle this. That was a lot of damage with that Wicked Blow, too. Alright, um, I think it's time for a light screen. And it's definitely time for a shelter. Is it time for Terra Shelter? No. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going for a shelter. Okay, Urshifu swaps. I'm wondering if that means choice item. Because that Wicked Blow was doing a lot of damage. And into Whimsicott. There you go. Just a hyper voice, that's okay. Life Orb. Interesting. I guess I would be a little bit worried about the Whimsicott pulling some Encore shenanigans. I'm gonna throw a Spirit Break at it. And a Heavy Slam at it. I would like to see it go down. And I would like to see it not Encore. If it just has like Taunt or something, that's fine. Uh, swap on for Rigorath. Okay. Into Urshifu. Well, I mean, if you do Encore me into Shelter, yeah, now I'm gonna have a lot of defense. And you're not Covert Cloak on that. Alright. My plan is now... <laughs> For Gudra to survive long enough to get out of this Encore. That was one. So if I just keep hitting Spirit Breaks, I don't want to go Terra Goes. I think that's what I have to do. Won't let me do anything else. My question is whether I should Terra now. I'm leaning toward no. I'm worried about that Urshifu being Choice Band Poison Jab. But they'd have to mess around to try to do that. I, I think I'm okay for now. Okay, Moonblast into Grimmsnarl, that's fine. Okay, Wicked Blow into Grimmsnarl, that's also fine. I don't care about that at all. Excellent. And believe it or not, I am staying in and sheltering. Well, the Wicked Blow is great, because it can't crit Gudra. Unfortunately, or maybe I would have to just Terra Sinistra later. That could be okay. I'll Spirit Break, and I will go for another shelter. Oh, they have Endeavor. That's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Uh-oh. Um, let's see. What do, what can I do about that? Encore is over. So they would have to either commit the Encore 
or go for another endeavor. If they commit to the Encore, I can protect, block it, and knock them out with Macha Gacha. If they go for the Endeavor, I can protect, block it, and knock them out with Macha Gacha. But they can immediately win by going for Endeavor and Wicked Blow into Sinistra. But that would be incredibly bold considering I am a ghost type at the moment. But yeah, that's my play, Macha Gacha. And protect. I understand that I won't be protecting the Gudra from Wicked Blow, I'm only protecting it from Whimsicott. I can't Rage Powder away anything from this Whimsicott. Oh, this is a tough game. Okay, Gudra is the first Protect, and the only Protect. They go for the Encore, that's excellent. Blow hits Sinistra. Okay, that's fine. And I connect the Macha Gacha. Let's go. Can I get a burn on that Urshifu, please? Oh, I got a crit on the Urshifu. Eh, I didn't want the crit. I wanted a burn. A burn would actually save Sinistra next turn. But I think I'm in a fine position, actually. They're locked into Wicked Blow, which can't crit. And they have Farigaraf. I'm allowed to protect to get my leftovers. Against Farigaraf, not so much against Urshifu. I'm at plus six defense. That should do a lot to Farigaraf. Um, presumably they'll just Wicked Blow into Sinistra. And of course we haven't seen their last. But not bringing it out now means it's not Chen Pao? Could be good. Okay, life due, because it's... Sinistra's gonna go down. And a body press into the furry giraffe. Yeah, thank you Sinistra. You did your job. And you did it well. It's up to Gudra to take this home. Can Gudra do it? I don't know. But I'm going to try. Just a hyper voice. It just still does way too much damage. Oh my goodness. But you're gone. That's good. Now if they just have Chen Pao with Sacred Sword, I could never have won anyway. And I don't know if I can take whatever is coming up next anyway. Oh, and Reflect is gone. Not good timing, Gudra. It's Blood Moon. Presumably I'll be faster than their Blood Moon. Would they risk protecting it? I just have to go for it. Wicked Blow brings me from 73 to 48. That's good. Oh, we get outsped. Oh, that's too bad. That was a fast Blood Moon. But yeah, they definitely have speed investment on that. Alright, good game. Oh, Gudra couldn't quite do it. Good game. Okay, oh, it's Mouse Ape. Oh, that's the worst matchup. Good game. Uh, where's the forfeit button? <laughs> Alright, uh, Mouse Ape is genuinely the worst possible matchup. Uh, they also have Chiyu Flutter, that's not too bad. Uh, but they have, and they have Chen Pao and just a Whimsicott. Okay, versus Mouse Ape, my options are pretty limited. I should set up Reflect, and I should use Moltres, because Moltres can actually take a Rage Fist. So those are the leads. Can I get them set up fast enough to win? I don't know. Sinistra could be good just for some redirection. 
and some healing, of course. And then finally, now, Annihilate will just rip through Gudra. And if I don't save Terra for it, Chen Pao will just rip through Gudra. Chi Yu's pretty good into Gudra. Okay, so I don't think it's Gudra. Could it be Milotic? My Milotic has a healing move, it has Scald. Or is it Incineroar? It's a very specially defensive Incineroar. Could be good if the Chi Yu Flutter Main appear, but the Intimidate's gonna be basically useless. I'm gonna try Milotic. This is gonna be an entirely Moltres based game. Like, from the first two seconds, I accepted Mouse Ape is a bad matchup for this team. Sometimes you have one bad matchup, and sometimes you see it in your second fight in the Global Challenge. And that's okay. Oh, cool, Umbreon. D do they see that Mouse Ape is the thing, first of all? Whimsicott. Yeah, that, that's, that's good, too. That's pretty strong against me, too. Okay. Well then. I don't like the Whimsicott, because the last time I got hit by a Whimsicott, it hit really hard. Uh, but I think they would be focused on getting up and beat, off, beat up. So I'm gonna reflect. And nasty plot right away. They don't have Friend Guard on the field, so I could possibly do decent damage into the Annihilate. And this time I'm not going to get caught off guard with a... I mean, I still could. Got caught off guard by that parting shot into... Oh, just Tailwind? Oh. Well, that's not so bad. Unless you're like, Final Gambit Ape. Brain Punch. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Okay, I like to see that. Caught me a nice light screen. And just go for air slash? That's what I want to do. If I can eliminate Ape, I can win this game. If I can't eliminate Ape, I can't win this game. Uh, maybe you go for Terra now. You might be scared now that I'm at plus two. No, no Terra. Okay, tell me I live long enough to hit this ape, and we're good. I think we will. No, no way is Rage Fist gonna knock out. With four hits, that's 250, 125. That's less than double Drain Punch. No, that's not gonna knock out. It's gonna do a lot. We can even take one more. Thank you, Moltres, for being a dark type that isn't weak to fighting. Thank you, Moltres, for not missing. And thank you, Moltres, for getting the KO we needed. Okay, this game is now officially winnable. Turn one, I was I was ready to run. But now, I don't know, a Terra there would have helped them a lot. Uh, not wasting time tailwinding would have helped them a lot, a lot. My Moltres has very little speed investment. But it's the same base speed as Ape, so maybe if they have no speed investment, they were slower. Being slower than this is a problem. It only learns flinching moves. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble now. Uh, Fluttermane? Okay. I can finally tear up my Moltres. Booster energy of the speed variety. Do I want to bring in Sinistra or Milotic now? I mean, yeah, I have... Nothing better to do. I'll parting shot into the Flutter Main, weaken it a bit. Terra. And just start throwing Fiery Wraths. If the Flutter Main goes for a Terra... It didn't, okay. If Flutter Main goes for a Terra, then Air Slash... Well, I mean, Air Slash is stronger anyway than a neutral Fiery Wrath. But I don't want to miss, and I'd rather get damage on both. Terra Poison is great here. And also, I'm now vulnerable to Prankster moves. Oh, just to protect, okay. 
but you have beat up and tailwind. And you're attacking. I'm beating up my Moltres. Okay. Trigger Berserk. Trigger Berserk. One more hit. Trigger Berserk. Ah, no, not quite. Alright, how much does this do to a Whimsicott? I'm only plus two. Decent. That was decent. Um, I don't see much reason not to just parting shot again. Like, you could swap into a dark type to stop it, but who cares? Parting shot, and... I don't think a plus two air slash gets the KO, so I'm still gonna just go for Fiery Wrath. Now would be a good time for them to Terra the Fluttermane. But even then, they're gonna be so weak. At minus one through Light Screen, and I'm getting a heal this turn. Whatever. Moltres is in a good position. Oh, they did swap! Okay! Is this into your dark type to block the parting shot? It is! <laughs> okay. That actually makes me do more damage to your Whimsicott. That's so funny. Oh no, now I have to click Fiery Wrath. Whatever will I do? damage too. Your Tailwind is gone. Yeah, obviously Sinistra is going to get hurt by parting shot into it, but the healing on Moltres is so important. I'll just parting shot the Whimsicott this time. This Grimmsnarl is not having any good luck with these parting shots. How many parting shots have I thrown now? And not one has been successful. My goodness. Heck from Chiyu. Okay, they want to get Chiyu and Flutter on the field at the same time. Understandable. Well, I want to heal my Moltres, so I'm going to do that. With Carmen Sinistra. Just to flex. Endeavor. Stop being Endeavor Whimsicots! I hate Endeavor Whimsicott. You didn't even have a fairy move. You were just Endeavor. Okay. How could this still be winnable? Milotic's not in a bad position. But both of these are about to get blown up. I would like to try to trick room. I don't think I can protect. No, I'm still on board. I could swap both, then bring Moltres back in, but I, I don't think... Mm. Gleam does take out Moltres too, that sucks. But Milotic is not in a bad position. They connect to Heatwave. Bye, Sinistra. <sighs> Moltres, Moltres, Moltres. Life Orb on Chiyu, good to know. Uh, they both have Protect, we already know this. I'm very happy to have Milotic. Milotic, just knock out Chiyu, and we're pretty much good. I think the best thing for Grimmsnarl to do is first throw a parting shot to weaken up that Fluttermane. And then I'll just throw a Scald at Chiyu. Who might be protecting? Yeah. I guess I could have read that, but what's the point? As long as Fluttermane's weak, it can't get any knockouts, and we are happy. 
sunny day, whimsicott. That's really cool, actually. With Scald in the Sun, plus a Life Orb Tick knock out Chiyu, I hope so. I really hope so. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now they're gonna tear us and oh wow. Wow. Into grass, of course! Okay, I can parting shot you next turn if I'm still alive. My goodness. Just everything has to go wrong, right? Isn't that just how the global challenge works? Gleam, that did nothing. Terra Blast! You have Terra Blast! And he crit! When I said everything would go wrong, I meant everything, everything. Last turn of light screen. I mean, just double protect on me. What am I gonna do about it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Charm, sunny day, dazzling gleam, protect. Really? That's crazy. Should knock out, but then I'm not beating Fluttermane. Ah! <laughs> what is this Fluttermane? What is this? Yeah, light screen's gone. I could put it up, but I don't. Maybe you're weak enough that I live this, and then no. Okay, good game. Wow! Endeavor Whimsicott. Sunny Day Charm Fluttermane. Terra Grass Terra Blast Chiyu. Yeah, you got me. Okay, let's recover. Thunderous Whimsicott Fluttermane, their own Gudra. And then Cresselia and regular Ursaluna. How do I want to get after this? I want to lead Taunt. I very badly want to lead Taunt. If I lead Taunt, I can stop the Whimsic, the Amoongus. Uh, it probably won't be enough to stop the Trick Room, but I don't really care about Trick Room that much. I think I also want to go with Moltres, because I'd be a little worried. If I lead Gudra and they just taunt with Thunderous, I'd do nothing. So I want Moltres. After that, who do I want? I think... Moltres can win. But if I go Terra Poison, I lose to the bear. And if I don't, I could go down to Fluttermane. Sinistra's good against the bear. So I'm going to bring that. That'll also help me with Trick Room, have another Spore Immunity. All good. And finally... It could be Milotic. It could be Grimmsnarl. It's weird, like, not bringing Grimmsnarl ever, so maybe I should just bring the Grimmsnarl. Milotic would be a good save against their Gudra, maybe. But I think this is what I'm going to go with. Uh, Sinistra's already good against Gudra, if I get into that sort of position. My problem is my Sinistra always be going down. Sinistra's such a cool mon, but has just a little bit too many weaknesses. And they've got a card, too. All right, we're having good luck on that, at least. Maybe I can't win any battles, because everyone has Endeavor Whimsicott. Okay, two taunt targets. Terrific. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I taunt Gudra and protect. That wastes a turn, but gets me in a decent position. Because then I could always taunt the other thing in Nasty Plot for free. Okay. 
Okay. No shelters for you. And a spore. Good. Exactly what I expected. Now I can taunt the thing I actually want to taunt and set up a free nastiest plot. The nastiest of plots. I mean, it's not free free. They'll get to body press or heavy slam. Maybe sludge bomb if they have it. I did a lot! Oh no! <laughs> and they have clear smog! Things are just not going my way, huh? Alright, I'll parting shot out on Gudra, even though it doesn't really matter. And just air slash the Amoongus. Okay, the Amoongus is out. Maybe I should have parting shot at that slot. Oh, it's just Cress. Okay. I do think it's Sinistra. They can completely shut down that Gudra. And I feel like they want a trick room and bring in the bear, which this also helps with. Yep, can't body press that. And your taunt is over. Great. I don't see much point in Rage Powder. They're probably going to shelter in Trick Room. I'm going to Macha Gacha. They could also bring in the bear. And I'm going to Nasty Plot. Fishing for a burn on Gudra could be huge as well. Once a, once a Gudra's burned, it's pretty much useless. No, wrong one! Wrong slot! My dude. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, well they get up their shelter. Must be nice. They get up their trick room. Cool. Now I want to go ahead and reverse their Trick Room and launch a Fiery Wrath. I could protect and reverse their Trick Room, but I don't want to give Gudra free turns. And even if I get hit by a plus two body press, that's not the worst thing in the world. Especially because I know I'm faster, I can life do next turn. Uh, Crest just straight swaps. Show me the bear. I would love to see the bear. It's just a Moongus. We go for another shelter. Maybe I should have pro brought my Haze uh, Milotic. Wait, did I bring Milotic? Oh, that's great damage. I love that. I did not bring Milotic. Rage Powder and Air Slash now. Yeah, that's the one. Get rid of Amoongus. Make sure Body Press can't go into the Gudra, into the uh, Moltres. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Now this is a Moltres game that's actually working. And they have life too, okay. No Protect it looks like then. But what's your item? Fluttermane? You just have Crest, Fluttermane, and Gudra left? Nice. Very nice. I think I'm good too. <laughs> Maybe I should let Trick Room go up. <laughs> um. Probably Rage Powder, even though it doesn't feel great. No, I could get out. I could just bring in Incineroar here. 
for Rastalize Fiery Wrath. Just to get the Sinistra out so it can heal my uh, Moltres again later. I also maybe could have brought in Grimmsnarl there, but it's a bit passive. I don't really want to be passive in this scenario. Yeah, but I like this Poison Terra here. Resisting the body presses, resisting the fairy moves. I need to get rid of Gudra as soon as possible, though. Shadow Ball, nice. How much does this Fiery Rat do? A lot, a lot. And Body Press does <laughs> kind of a lot, too. Alright, I'm just thinking Flare Blitz, Fiery Wrath. That's what I'm feeling. Battle was cancelled. Good game! Good job, Moltres, you did it. You finally got one. Okay, here we are, uh, Cress or Saluna. With Urshifu, Bolt, Tornadus, and Incineroar. Okay, so they got Torn Urshifu, which is terrifying. They've got Cress Ursaluna, which is terrifying. They have Raging Bolt, which is not that scary. To me, it's scary. My team personally doesn't fear it as much as some others. Unless it's Calm Mind. Calm Mind is actually really scary. And they have Incineroar. Okay. Feels like it has to be a Gudra game because of the Urshifu. Gudra Grim could be a lead with Sinistra. Sinistra's great. It, it stops the bear usually. It could redirect thunderclaps. Urshifu doesn't want to see it. It's great. But finally, they have a couple things that can really hit Gudra hard. They have the bear. They have Mr. Thunderclap. Don't really know how I want to go about that. I could bring my Lotic. In case they're like a Calm Mindset, that could haze away. Uh, Incineroar isn't great, honestly. So I think it is my Lotic. I'm not... Like, Moltres is fine. I'm just not really feeling it, because it's not great into Urshifu, it's not great into Raging Bolts, it's not great into Incineroar, but it is good against the Bear and Cresselia. But I don't know if they would go Bear Cresselia route. It might just be the other four. Not that I'm particularly intimidable. Oh, cool. But, I mean, also, if they bring in Cinderor, having Milotic is good, just in case they come in at the same time. Oh, it's an Incin Bear lead? What? Oh. Huh. Uh, I think I go for Shelter and Reflect right away. Just try to keep up with this bear. That's scary. That implies a setup move on the bear. I think this is a Sword Stance fake out turn. And I think they would rather fake out my Gudra. And the next turn I can like Parting Shot out. No, they just want to block the Reflect. Oh, they're fast! Bye, Gudra! What?! <gasps> Turn one. I lost my entire damage dealers. Why are the fast bears? Okay, I'm, I'm not liking best of one close team sheet so much today. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. Lord have mercy. Uh, Milotic is the new sweeper. Yeah. Uh, go, Milotic, sweep them. Uh, I could scald Ursa Luna and actually get up Reflect this time. Lord, Lord, Lord. They're probably going to get their Incineroar out, I would think. No, they're just going for a Terra Normal Facade. 
Uh, it's a ghost. <laughs> I mean, just not being weak to the water is all you're really going for here. Oof. Let's see how fast they are. Are you actually faster than my Lotic? Yes. Ouch. And there goes my wiki berry too. Fantastic. I guess I go for another scald parting shot. Hope. Pray. Yeah, I hope Parting Shot plus Sinistra Healing gets me out of range. It won't. It might. It probably doesn't. Man, I needed that Wiki Berry. Come on, my Lotic. Wow, that bear just... Coco and Gudra like that? That's crazy. Come on, eat it! Uh, my Lotic did not eat it. And a U-turn. Okay, well, I get some chip. Yeah, take that. I did more to you. Oh, boy. Well, then. Oh, uh, what was I supposed to do, then? It's just fast bear headlong rush turn one. At least it's actually water or Shifu. One good thing. So I Spirit Break. And I Rage Powder. Yeah, at least that turn's kind of free. But like, what's it gonna get me? <laughs> Instant swapping? Yeah, great. Oh, they have poison jab? Really? <laughs> they get the poison. Things could not be worse. Things could not be worse right now. All the worst things that could be happening are happening. All right, uh... Sinistra's speed is 91. Slower than the bear. I, I guess I go for Trick Room. <laughs> oh lord. I'm guess this, guessing this is just a knockoff into Sinistra 2 anyway, so it's just gonna knock it out. With that plus the poison, plus the poison jab. No, the poison jab's over at Grimmsnarl now, that's good at least. Oh, no poison? Weird. There's no sense of Flare Blitz. But now I'm gonna be in knockoff range on Sinistra anyway, so it's like, what's the point? Maybe I'm not. There's always some hope, I guess. Oh, they just flare blitz. Sinistra v. World. Let's do it, Sinistra. You can get the two knockouts here and heal up pretty significantly. 
All right, all right, that's a start. Or you could just not get the knockouts, because that's fine too. What the heck, Sinistra? What's... Huh? That's a lot of healing. But then the poison jab happens. Alright, I can... Not do much. But I'll just click Macha Gacha again. Is that like... Is that Urshifu like Assault Vest or just bulky? Can't knock off that kill. Nope, doesn't kill. It's not over. <laughs> it's technically not over. Oh boy. And Macha Gacha. Yeah, take that. You did not sweep me. I'm getting knockouts, whether you like it or not. Twenty-seven down to five. Great. The bear can obviously owe Komi any time it wants. And they oh, they also have raging bolt. I'm gonna click Life Do, just to make Thunderclap fail. Yeah, take that. That's what you get. That's what you try to get for trying to Thunderclap my poor Sinistra. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Good game, I guess. Oh. Oh, that was rough. That was really, really rough. <laughs> Good game anyway. Oh, that bear is scary. Fast bear. Oof. Alright, here we are against Okie Dogie Sand. Oh, this looks like the exact team that's been going around. Uh, obviously, you can't use the rental here, but they must have built it, so it could be slightly different. But it usually has a Rocky Helmet Salamence, uh, Corviknight with no body press. What's my answer to this? Uh, the, cl the, uh, the clear smog Amoongus is also super annoying. That's actually the most annoying thing on there. The clear smog Amoongus. My way around that is there isn't one. My way around it is to have Gudra not change its typing. Which can work against some stuff, but not others. But if I get enough boosts up on Gudra and keep it nice and healthy, that could work. I would also have to avoid getting Spored, so maybe I do need Incineroar. I don't want to bring Incineroar, but I might have to. Can my Lotic do much on her own? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Scald is pretty strong. I'm leaving myself a little open to Amoongus here, but I have Grass Terra on my Lotic. So there are some things that can be done. I have the Sinistra for a Grass Swap in. That's a, that's a cool card. That's that little uh, Surf thing. Think. I don't know where that, that is. Corviknight Okie Dokie. Okay. That is a Taunt Corviknight. Yeah. So I think it's time. Yeah, I think it's Taunt, U-Turn, Brave Bird, Bruce. So it's time to bring in my Lotic and start doing my Lotic things. I'm gonna set up a Reflect. I may never need Light Screen at all. Like, Salamence is the only special attack really got. I get 
hit my Reflect. You could just taunt Melodic, that's fine. Uh, just straight for a Gunk Shot, that makes sense. We live, and no poison. That's great. No, I fish for Scald Burns on Okie Dogie. And probably Parting Shot into Gudra, honestly. That seems pretty safe. Scald Dogie. Parting Shot the Okie Dogie. I can also Parting Shot Corviknight. I would still swap out, but Corviknight wouldn't get any drops. I would get drops and then swap out. So it's just not useful. I kind of hope Gudra gets hit by like a U-turn or something here. Ooh, good damage. Oh, crit, yeah. Burn, burn, burn. No burn. I'll take all the times I can get to get this Scald on this Okie Dogie to work. Maybe I should just protect Gudra here, because I know the taunt is coming. Just to annoy that Corviknight, waste one turn of its time. Got the burn! Yes! Okay, I'm happy. Oh, and it was a Drain Punch into Gudra. Nice. And a Taunt into Gudra. Very nice. I love that. Alright, is it time to consider Okie Dogie done? Or should I target it still? Getting rid of it could be good, because it has, like, knockoff, which is annoying. It has gunk shot, which could be annoying someday, if it poisons. Maybe I should just start fishing for skull burns on Corviknight. Yeah, I guess I could do that, and I could just heavy slam it, Okie Dogie. That'll do some shit. Bring it a little lower. The brain punch, that's fine. If that's all you're gonna do, actually, I would rather you stay alive. Okay, you finally landed the pawn. Good job. Good job. I'm probably gonna swap out. Okay, Okie Dogie does stay alive. I actually prefer that. Because you don't seem to be going for knockoff. I'm glad I pee pee up this Scald. I'm gonna be clicking it a lot. Alright, Scald the Corviknight. Is it time to bring in Sinistra? I don't see why not. Just to get Gudra off the field, cycle it back on, make them taunt it again. And this healing doesn't hurt. I like my Milotic to be full health. And Corviknight swapped into Titar. That's a choice band Titar. If I remember correctly, and so that's scary. Let me get the burn, please. Yeah! Oh yes, Milotic, you are amazing. And a Drain Punch Whiff, love it. Now you're gonna use this sand to knock out your own Okie Dogie. But that's fine. Oh, it was going down to burn anyway, it looks like. Okay. Ah, oh, the burn on T-Tar, that's huge. Alright, uh, low kick, knockoff, rock slide, flying Terra Blast. I believe. Uh, and you have Excadrill. Excadrill needs to go. How's this reflect looking? Three more turns? Yes! I like that. I could Terra Grass Milotic to take a ground move better. But I'd be worried about Terra Blast. 
I'm just gonna Scald. And probably Sat Grim. Yeah, I think I'll Sat Grim. Battle was just cancelled anyway. Good game, Milotic. Oh, those burns were huge. When you bring an all-physical team, I mean, that's what happens. Okay, Max. Let's see if you can put me back over 1,500. Uh, Torner, Shifu, Landorus, Fluttermane, Incineroar, Iron Hands. Iron Hands is weird. You don't see much of that. Landorus is the scariest thing on their entire team by a huge margin. Like, Gudra can solo their entire team except Landorus. If I can get Landorus out of the way, Gudra can just win. I mean, not just win, it's still, they still have a lot of power. But if Gudra was set up, it could win against everything but Landorus. So! How do I want to do that? Uh, Torn with Taunt could also be annoying. How well could I just use Moltres? Probably not that well. Alright, I need to get Landorus out of the way. Maybe I just do go with Gudra Grimmsnarl. I have Milotic though. Milotic can do well into Landorus. And then probably Sinistra. Just lean into a Gudra game, but be ready to switch modes. As soon as Landorus shows its ugly face. And it is an ugly face. Incineroar's Mmm, not the best. Moltres is good, but not great. Like, Moltres would have to Terra in front of Iron Hands or Fluttermane, and that would make Landorus a huge problem. So I think I have the right four. Ah, oh, no trainer card. Boo. Boo. Definitely have the right four. It's just, I, can I position Landorus to die? Is the main question. Hard Milotic, set light screen. Hard Milotic, set light screen. Turn to parting shot, heal the Milotic with Sinistra. Start throwing ice beams or skulls. I'm also worried about a taunt coming out. Gudra is not in a position to do anything. I could have protected to stall a turn, but I want to get this lander is gone as soon as possible. And that means throwing ice beams at it turn two. Just a bleak wind. Give me a boost, please. I would love a boost here. Please, please, baby. Nah. I'm just sludge bomb into Grimstar, that's fine. I throw the ice beam, but like it feels obvious. So I parting got into Gudra, that'd be funny. Yeah, I think I will. Oh! Oh, they're gonna let me ice beam! Oh, they're gonna let me get the ice beam off. Are they going to read this and hit the Gudra with Earth Power? They're minus one through light screen. I think it's actually okay now. Because they're letting me get the Ice Beam, it looks like. Unless there's something I don't know, like Sub is coming out. You could boost me here, too. Sandseer. Alright, that didn't do too much. That's fine. That's great. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you for giving me Landorus. That's exactly what I needed. Whew. Okay, this is a good position now. You didn't give me any drops on Milotic for boosts, but... And this Milotic is EV'd specifically to get that KO unless they're weirdly bulky. So that Ice Beam's guaranteed against like 4 HP Landorus. Water Shifu. Light screen is up, but not reflect.
Bring in Sinistra. Terra Shelter. That's what I gotta do. Light screen's up so Sinistra won't take too much from a bleak wind. I'll get to heal on the Gudra. I'll get rid of my fighting weakness. And then I'll have a defense boost. Now, please don't taunt me. But I feel like you would have taunted a long time ago for that taunt. They don't be running taunt so much these days. Still a strong move, though. CC, and it's just a bleak win. Okay. Oof. That did a bit more than I wanted it to. Half the Sinistra. Lame. The Urshifu going first seems to imply Scarf. And if they're Scarfed into CC, they're probably going to want to get out. So I think I can get into Grimmsnarl now. Get that Reflect up, finally. Probably go for another shelter. I was also considering Rage Powder, but I don't think Urshifu wants to stay in and click close combat into Gudra in this position. Like, yeah, I could avoid one close combat, and then I just die to bleak. What's the point? And I'm glad I have my Lotic. I feel like Life Do in the end game could be pretty strong. Yep, you swapped. Show me your last. Fluttermane. Cool. Uh, booster energy? I'd rather see speed. It is speed. Okay, cool. Uh, now the question is, do I even want Reflect, really? I could Parting Shot into Sinistra, lowering someone's special attack. Actually, I kind of like that. Parting shot. Get some healing. Heavy slam the Fluttermane. Lose Sinistra in the process. But then be able to use my Lotic to just constantly heal. And be pretty much good. Maybe even set Reflect with Grimstarl before. Presumably Bleak Wind Storm plus Dazzling Gleam or Shadow Ball or something takes out Sinistra. Mystical Tiger. That's not very strong. This Bleak Wind Storm weaker than last time. But Sinistra still goes down. Oh, because of crit! <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, Gudra Speed Fallen again. Fluttermane is gone. Now the question is whether I want to put up Reflect or start just Life Doing. I've gotten two shelters off already. I think it's time for Life Do. I don't think Reflect is going to get me as much mileage. Pretty melodic. All right, three more turns of light screen too. That's great. Um, is my physical attack lowered? No, just my special attack and speed. Yep, just a life do, and start body pressing the Urshifu. Just because I think I can two shot Urshifu, I don't know if I can two shot Tornadus. I just want to get something dead. Ooh, are you going for a Terra Water Surging Strikes? Wait, do you have Rain Dance? That could be a little annoying if you have Rain Dance. Because you can't crit. You 
can't crit through my defense boosts. But that's still damage. <laughs> damage. Okay, that did, that did 10. That one also did 10. Okay, 10, 10, 10. Cool. I just have to heal 30 damage. Come on, Leakman. Which actually did a little bit more. Ooh, mistake! <laughs> now I have a strong Milotic, too. Love it. Now, I didn't actually out-heal the damage they did. Yeah, that does happen. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I think I can just win here. Um, Ice Beam should take out Torn. Actually, no. Torn is usually bulkier than Landorus. And a plus two Ice Beam is like an Ice Beam onto a Landorus. So that's not guaranteed. I should Life Do again and just Body Press the Urshifu. Get rid of that. And then worry about the Torn later. This, this combo I should definitely take. They can't crit. So once I get Urshifu out of the way, I can guarantee the win. Bleakwind Storm misses this time. My lobby. And I just heal right back up, knock you out. GG's. This is what this combo can do. I actually did heal that time. You got a low roll. Bye, Urshifu. Goodbye. So Landorus went down. Urshifu went down. For some reason, I have no memory of what their other Pokemon was. Oh, wait, it was a Fluttermane. Yeah, that got deleted fast. Okay, now I'll just attack you with Ice Beam and Heavy Slam. I hope you stay. I want to see what Ice Beam does. Nope. Goodbye. Good game. That's the power of shelter and shell armor. Alright, I'm finally getting some momentum. I'm back over 1500 now. Our Chaladon Tornadus, Landorus, Water Pond, Farigarath, and Okie Dogie. Well, we know what we gotta do about Landorus. That's my logic. What do we do about our Chaladon? Grimstall, really. I, I need screens. Our Chaladon can do so much damage so fast. I need to not let that happen. Uh, probably Gudra. Gudra with Light Screen can probably take on our Chaladon. Get a few defense boosts and body press it down. Moltres. Moltres isn't bad. Like, if I don't Terra, I can handle Landorus. But I would have to Terra for our Chaladon. Could I beat our Chaladon? Maybe. Hold on, that might be a way. It might be a Moltres game. Unfortunately, Moltres can get critted by that Ogre Pond. But Moltres is a lot better against those other stuff. Like, Torn with Taunt could just ruin my day if I go a Gudra route. Since it's a rain team, I don't think I want Incineroar. I think I want Sinistra. Sinistra's not the best here, type-wise, but the healing's always good. Incineroar doesn't really hit any of those. Like, I don't have knockoff even for the Farigarath. I have Taunt instead. So my only damage is Flare Blitz. I don't think this is an Incineroar game. Plus Okie Dogie, I mean. Oh, it's a little sleepy dragon guy! The little, the little uh, Cyclozar. That's his name. Okie Dogie? Our Chaladon. I'm a little bit worried about it being like a power herb our Chaladon. I'm gonna light screen Terra Nasty Plot. I, it's risky because I'm now weak to Landorus in the back. Which they should have. But I feel like I brought all of my anti landorus tech. So maybe I'll be okay. I can even like redirect an Earth Power if I keep Sinistra healthy. But I'm so scared of Power Herb. 
Electro Shot. Oh, that is what it is. Okay. Okay, I'm so glad I made this play then. Yep, that's exactly what you are. I know what you are. Oh my god, you're doing damage! And then drain back, whatever. What? Was that a crit? Oh, it was a crit. Oh my goodness. That's not cool, my dude. You can't just be doing stuff like that. That was terrifying. Do I want to set up Reflect? I mean, it doesn't matter if they're just going to crit. If that's all the damage they can do, they probably have, like, knockoff fighting and poison moves. I'm not too worried about setting Reflect right now. I might want to just Parting Shot, get some healing on Moltres, and make them feel my wrath. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And then I can get Sinistra out, set up Reflect, cycle it back in for another round of healing later. If I even need reflect. Okie dokie's not that scary. Like that crit did a lot, but. What are you up to now? Arch Terra Fairy? Stellar. Ooh, that's cool. You gonna drop a Draco on my uh on my Moltres here? It's only neutral now. Well, I definitely want this Sinistra healing, that's for sure. I love this combo, because you parting shot and then you get hospitality and it throws off their caps. They're like, oh, I can knock out from that. Oh, but not if I'm one less special attack and you have 20% more HP and... Yep, dropping a Draco. That must be into Moltres. Eat it. Yeah. There goes your special attack. Here comes my special attack. And then it's a gunshot. Wow, that did a lot. That okie dokie is too strong. That thing needs to go. I think I rage powder and do that again, right? Moltres is so low, but it's done so much. Rage Powder. Another Fiery Rat. That Okie Dogi is so strong. Maybe I should have just set the Reflect first. Maybe I should have just protected that turn and set Reflect and then... It's doing too much damage. Okay. There we go, that's a KO. Glad to see it. Oh boy. Alright, is there any way to bring Moltres back into this fight? Probably not. I think Moltres is probably done. Uh, protect Life Dew is an option. Oh no, Moltres is done done. Done, done. I think Sludge Bomb would knock out Sinistra. But if it doesn't, Moltres can get another hit off. And if they go for an Earth Power, Moltres can get another hit off. I think it's worth losing both of these to try that. Because if they go for Earth Power, they're going to be in trouble. Sans oh, they have Sans here. Oh, and you connect. Okay. I should have known you had Sans here, but I could never have known you would connect both. Oh, and a Drain Punch. I don't lose Sinistra. Interesting. I want to get Reflect up. Do I want to bring in Milotic? 
If I hard bring in my Lodic, I get an extra healing on my Lodic for it with Sinistra. So it's probably worth it. And I'll just reflect. Man, that Okie Dokie's doing so much damage, too. So if I knew they had Sandseer... Then yeah, Moltres was never coming back in this fight. Once I Terra at it, it never had a chance. It always had to be a Milotic endgame. But that's fine. Milotic can do an endgame. Sandseer. That basically bounces off. Poison. You have Poison Jab and Gunk Shot? That KOs. That's terrifying. Is there any chance you don't protect Landorus here? I doubt it. You gotta be protecting Landorus here. I could see a double up into Milotic with Sandseer, Sinister dodges. In which case... might want Trick Room. Sinister could live if they let it. Yeah, Protect on Landorus. Just knocking out Sinister then? Yeah. Okay. And then I just Skull. I don't reveal Ice Beam. Maybe you don't know about Ice Beam. But maybe you have Ogre Pond and you just redirect everything from now on. I do have Ogre Pond. I have no chance against Ogre Pond. Good game. You had all the things you needed at all the right times. And that Okie Dogi. I'm gonna respect Okie Dogi a lot more next time. The parting shot should have been into Okie Dogi. I should have set up Reflect. Oh wow, I live. I guess I messed up there. I should have tried to freeze the Ogre Pond. How much does that Horn Leech do? If I can live this one and get the freeze, I guess I can win. You don't have Terra. 1 HP! Time to freeze it to death! Come on! Freeze, 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 freeze. That doesn't look like a freeze. Alright, goodbye. Good game. Ah, good try, Milotic. You almost had it, but... Okie dokie, man. Alright, we're back with the rental code. If you liked this video, which you probably did if you made it this far, go ahead and don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And, uh, I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.